Hi, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Pardot and Salesforce consultant with Rotive. We help small businesses automate their processes using Salesforce and related tools. In this video, we're going to talk about why use leads, why you should use the lead object at all in Salesforce. So this question definitely comes up a lot with our clients. For many people, it just seems unnecessary because in Salesforce, we've got the accounts and contacts objects. You know, accounts are organizations or households or companies and contacts are people within those organizations. So what do we need a separate lead record for? Well, there's two reasons you probably want to use that lead record. The first is data quality, protecting that core database, making sure it's the highest quality possible. The second is for speed. So let's talk about data quality first. So accounts and contacts is really your core database. It's got your customers, your qualified prospects, your partners, other people in the industry that you might work with. They can all be housed as accounts and contacts in the system. Now, leads are a precursor to accounts and contacts. The life cycle of a lead is that it should ultimately end up as being disqualified or it should be converted. And when it gets converted, it'll turn into an account and a contact. So let's go through a couple of scenarios. Let's say, for example, you go to a trade show and they give you a list of attendees at that trade show. Well, you might not yet know the quality of that list. Some people there are just not going to be fits for your business. You might disqualify them because they're the wrong industry, the wrong type of company. There also might be bad data on that list. Maybe somebody registered under a false name and gave a false email address or phone, and now the trade show organization is giving that data to you. So instead of just uploading all of that as accounts and contacts in your system in dealing with that bad data, you can upload that entire list as lead records in Salesforce. And now your BDR or your sales team has a list to run through to work to find out if these, these different leads are actually qualified. So let's look into one of these leads. And if we look at lead statuses here, there's pretty much always a status that represents disqualification. And in this case, it says closed, not converted. But sometimes it'll say unqualified or disqualified or poor fit, something like that. Now, you might also ask, why not just delete the lead if it's not good data? You could do that, but generally you want to keep it in the system to improve your reporting. If you get, you know, X number of leads from your website, it's helpful to understand out of that 100 leads, you know, how many of them were converted into opportunities or into accounts and contacts. That way you can see a true percentage of your qualified leads coming from these different marketing channels. Trade show, it's, it's the same situation there. So that's one reason to, you know, keep it in the system. Uh, and then you also preserve the track record of interactions with that particular lead and who decided it wasn't a good fit at what time. So that's reason uh, number one disqualification. You really don't have a mechanism for that as accounts and contacts. So you're going to end up having a lot of data you don't ever use in that in that part of your system. The second reason is speed. So accounts and contacts are two different records, two different objects in Salesforce that are related to each other. The nice thing about that is it can give you a whole wealth of data. You can look at a company and you can see all of the people underneath that company. And then you can also see, you know, what different opportunities do you have related to that company? What different cases, all this different sorts of tasks you might have related across all the people in that company. There's a wealth of data there because of those relationships between the different records. Leads are simple. They typically do not have all of those relationships. It's a flat record. So in this case, we're looking at Miss Bertha Boxer. We have her name and we have her company here just as a, a text field that's been filled out. It's not linking to any other record. It's essentially a digital business card. Because of that, it's really easy to work with this data. You can upload these records very quickly from a singular spreadsheet into the lead record and a salesperson can run through them, disqualify or qualify them as needed quickly. If we were to do all of this, with accounts and contacts, then every one of these leads, we'd probably have to create as its own account and contact, or we would need to find the account that already exists and put that contact underneath it. So it's just faster to use these. And that makes sense early in the process. If we have a bunch of leads that aren't yet qualified, then we want to work with them quickly. Don't want to spend too much time on these records. So the lead object comes in handy. So in conclusion, the reason to use the lead record 
is to improve the data quality of your core database, counts and contacts, and to speed up work with these new prospects early on in the process, because lead records are faster. Now, we've certainly worked with plenty of clients who prefer not to use the lead object, and that's typically not my recommendation. There are certain cases where, where that can make sense, where they're just focused on accounts and contacts. But in order to get rid of that lead object and simplify their system, they are giving up those benefits of having that stage of qualification and, and having that area where they can work very quickly through unqualified leads. So there's lots of systems integrations that will just create accounts and contacts first instead of creating leads first. So that's certainly an option that's available to you. But when considering using leads, think about if your company would benefit from the ability to qualify data before it comes into your system and also to work through less qualified prospects faster with that object. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps.